just got the Roblox washing right now. We wash three times a day. And also while they wash, we take the fire hose and we're gonna spray the whole robot down, wash the floor, wash the arm, wash the camera. And we just do this to ensure that, make sure that the arm always attaches and finds the teats. And if you don't clean the camera, you're just gonna have a lot of problems. Cows won't get milk properly. So we're gonna do that right now before they're finished done washing. We have these girls already waiting to go back in. them off we do actually scrub them down with a brush probably once a week it really depends on how full of manure they are we don't uh, in case someone comes to see the farm you know we don't really want to show them some dirty robots so we do try to keep them clean uh, I have to clean the camera yet on both arms but we have to wait until they're done washing because I can't pull the arm out from under the where it rests until it's done washing so we're gonna do that in about five ten minutes all right, they just finished up washing. Already got a girl in here. She was just waiting patiently. Dude, we're gonna go in the other robot. There's no cow in it, and we're gonna clean them up. We're gonna clean all these blocks up. Uh, now there's a cow in there. All right, we gotta wait. <laughs> got a nice viewing light. Perfect for taking YouTube videos. So on one of my other videos, I did get a comment uh, saying our cows are dirty. I agree, some of them are, but you have to understand about where they came from. So 50 of our cows were in a tie stall barn, the rest were on a straw pack. The straw pack was actually only made for 25 cows. We had 38 on there. So it was really hard to keep them clean. Also, we are waiting on a cow brush. So once that shows up, the cows will be able to clean themselves and we will have some clean cows again. Uh, I personally don't really like them dirty, but we are waiting for the cow brush and once that shows up, the cows will be scrubbing themselves and enjoying their lives. All right, so that girl is leaving right now. What we're gonna do, we're gonna lock the box. So this will not open his gate now. So the robot will be disabled. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this arm out. We're gonna take this hose. We're gonna clean everything up quick. So our girl is gonna have to wait like three minutes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold this orange button three seconds and then the arm's gonna come out. will drop so what we're gonna do we're gonna clean all these blocks out make sure all the straws out of here and then we're also gonna clean the camera up and wash the arm down and everything so first thing first we're gonna take the hose right here we're just gonna spray it all down so the reason we got to get all the manure and stuff and straw out of these blocks so this is what actually keeps it tight and then this is what tells the camera where the teat is. It was all sloppy and there was a manure in here and saying there was like a little gap like that, it would not attach at all. So make sure these are clean and everything goes smoothly. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to take this soap here, spray it all down here quick. Don't need much. Then we're going to take this brush here and we're going to scrub her down. easy with one hand. So on the camera, you don't want to scrub the camera with this, obviously. So what we're going to do, we're going to rinse this off now. And what 
this is a camera descaler. So we're gonna spray this on the skipper's towel, a good generous amount. And we're gonna take this and put it right on the camera. So just like that, we're gonna let it sit on the camera for about 30 seconds. And then we're gonna take it off and then we're gonna take a dry paper towel and dry it up. And that's it, and then we tuck the arm back in. Right there, I took it off already. So now we're gonna take a dry paper towel and we're just gonna dab it. Make sure there's no streaks. Kinda wipe it off a little. Just like that. Make sure there's no streaks on it. Nice and clean. So now we're gonna pull those up. Drop it down. And then put it back away, just hold this for three seconds. And it's gonna go back and do, it's called, I think CIP or something like that. And it's gonna go there. So now we're gonna hit uh, enable box and we're gonna let some cows in. As soon as I open the door, they all, they all just want right in. So it's actually extremely important to clean the camera once a day and do this kind of robot maintenance. Very little, doesn't take very long at all. And this just ensures that the camera will always find the teats and it'll attach properly and we don't have any cows just not getting milked. So today we actually have some service guys coming out to fix some conveyors here in the barn. Or I think they're actually replacing all of them. The three in the barn, as you guys can, uh, I'll show you guys here quick on the ladder. Now you can see these things are just warping. Like they're supposed to be flat. And these things, well these conveyors, they gotta be at least, well I don't know, I'd say at least 10 years old, I guess, when the barn's built. So we're replacing all these. They're not exactly too, too worn, but they're finished. So we're gonna replace them all we can before something breaks. We're also, I think we're replacing that one too and the one on the other side. I believe, I'm not the one that made the phone call, so I think that's what's happening. So what we gotta do is we're gonna top them up quick before they get here earlier this morning. The cows do still have a bit of feed left, but we're just gonna feed on top of what they still have because these guys might be here all day into the evening. So make sure they all got some good food in front of them all day. So what I gotta do first is actually come up here on top of this conveyor that goes outside. We stick a bag of insulation in this hole just to keep the cold air out. As you can see, the cold air just rushes in. So keeping that bag here really helps. Keeps the barn a bit warmer. And yeah, we're gonna feed cows quick. Also, we even have some issues right here. As you can see, there's not very much room between that top conveyor and the middle one. So when the feed comes on this north side, if we have a frozen chunk of feed, it'll actually get stuck in there and plug this whole thing up. That happened to me already three times this week. It would be nice to have someone stand here and watch it while I feed over there, but 90% of the time, I'm just a one man show here especially in the morning so what i gotta do is run back and forth a lot to see if it's actually plugged up or not hopefully it doesn't plug up this morning so also this morning we got the guys coming to fix one little conveyor in the feed room here that tosses the feed into the old barn so someone commented this is a lot of wasted feed yes it is why is this all here well the fine stuff this is just from conveyors there's nothing we can do about this yeah, we can pick it up. We will pick it up eventually. It's just a matter of when. Um, all this bigger stuff, this is actually from this conveyor, had a hole in it in the middle. It was just tossing feed off and off and off. So we replaced it. And now what they're coming to do, you guys can see in here, hopefully. So this conveyor at us up here, it's really dark in here. Sorry about that. Um, they're gonna shorten it about six to eight inches because what's happening is this conveyor is throwing the feed too far and a lot of the feed is just falling off to the conveyor and just landing it into the stalls in here. So we're gonna fix this problem also because this is a lot of wasted feed, a lot of money sitting right here. So we're gonna flick all these switches on and then go make sure everything's running good. We're gonna run to the other barn, make sure it's coming out.
So this here, this is how the silos falls off the conveyor. All it's doing is hitting that slide, falling off, hitting this so it doesn't go too far away from the cows. And just falling on the ground right there. So here, this is where the saw is just coming in from the outside, falling on there and then falling on here. So when there's a frozen chunk that comes through here and it gets stuck, plug this whole thing up. So this is what I'm coming back to watch every couple minutes. Nice and new. That's a good looking service truck. So we got the milk truck here and these guys working on the conveyors. I gotta go whole feed here. So just got back out for eating some lunch. So once the milk truck leaves, he automatically throws the tank into wash from using his board. That's the temperature of the tank, washing. So as the tank is getting washed, the robots are still milking cows. So that's where this tank right here comes in. So this is just a milk reservoir. They call it a buffer tank. So cows are getting milk still. And I'll show you guys inside here. So that's where the milk is getting held until this tank is finished washing. And then automatically, once this tank is done washing, the milk from that buffer tank will get pumped into this tank. And then automatically that buffer tank will get washed right away. So I do have to run to the other farm and haul feed over to this farm yet. I probably have a few things to do over there as well. So I am going to make this video a two part series. Uh, once I'm done hauling feed, I'll come back. We can sh I can show you guys what we do for evening chores. I just don't want this video to get too long. Today is the Wednesday the 17th. So I will post this video today. Might just edit it right now quick before I go over there. And then uh, come back for part two. Be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Look for this logo for Honest Canadian Dairy.